is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. So usually when I make videos inside the house, I usually use my Sony camera right here, but I just came to the realization that that battery's dead and I really want to make this video. So in this video, what I'm gonna do, cause I didn't do it last time, but I'm doing it this time. Y'all y'all remember this guy? Y'all remember this guy? Yeah. So I got it powered up. We are going to take it out and see how it runs on the new system that I have put in there, which let's take this body off here. All right. So with the new Surpass system that I got from Amazon, um, if you all remember, that's where the battery is going, right in this box, right from underneath, so I can just nice and flat under here. I put the servo on in the front. I did lock up the rear diff in the back, so now both wheels will, if I can lift this thing up, so both wheels will spin at the same time. So we're gonna go take this guy out for a test run just to see how it does. Um, I'm still trying to find a empty parking lot, a big stretch where I'll be able to get this thing to run at full speed. See what type of power, see what type of speed we can get out of it. So if you guys remember the box did say that this thing um, would run 80 miles an hour. That is what I'm trying to achieve. Now, if something were to happen with this car, um, where I would lose control and I would break it because the chassis is a very flimsy, how can I put this? The chassis is a very flimsy plastic, um, the chassis is. So if it hits anything, it might end up breaking. I don't, kinda don't want that to happen. But if it does, I'm just saying, if it does, guys, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> so, I found another one of these. I seriously found another one of these at the thrift store, which is the exact same car. Uh, the best thing about this one is, if you guys can see there, it's got both mirrors. That guy's missing the mirror on the driver's side, but this one's got both mirrors. That's the one thing that I always um, hated the fact about this car. The body, it's a beautiful body. Even the car itself, in real life, the car itself is beautiful. But uh, the only thing that kind of sucked about it was that that mirror piece was broken on the door, on the driver's side. But I found that guy at the hobby, at the hobby store, at the thrift store, and I said to myself, you know what, I gotta take it. I gotta take it, because if something were to happen with this one, I have a backup, so I can keep going. <laughs> See what I can do with it. So, without further ado, let's go outside. All right, guys. So I got the GPS that I just put on the car, and I also have the phone that I use to um, to check the speed runs with the GPS. So I'm just gonna wait for the satellites to pop up but uh while we're waiting for the satellites to pop up let's uh see what this guy is can do right now what the heck is something stuck on here or something no it's just really freaking loud Whew, this thing is loud
All right, dang, that gearing is loud. I gotta take it easy on it. So I'm gonna take it easy on it because I believe the rear gearing is trashed because that's just way too loud. Um, that is just way too loud. So we do got satellites. All right, so we got satellites. Let's see what let's see what this thing can do. All right. Damn it. All right, so I'm gonna go and hit track and start. All right. And I do have a 2S lipo. So let's see what this thing is gonna do. That's bad. Keep going. Flipping. Full speed now. Here's a shot. <laughs> you can hear this thing. All right. Let's uh, let's see what I got out of it. So let's hit uh, stop and read. Twenty three miles an hour. All right, so I'm gonna go look back in my old video, in one of my videos to see what it was that this thing ran. Cause I honestly don't remember. But right now it just ran at 23 miles an hour. We still got a long way to go. Luckily I found that other car that I can probably use the gearing out of that thing put it in here because uh, I think when the old I think when the old system uh, was in here that probably stripped the gearing and now with this run <laughs> uh, yeah there's no more gearing in this thing so yeah uh, this thing's pretty much done for gearing wise because, I mean, you guys can hear it here. You guys can hear it. I mean. All right. Let's, uh, let me go take the body off. Let me take the body off of this thing and see what the heck is going on. All right, guys. So we are back in the office and we are going to dissect and see what the heck is going on with this thing. Um. I have a pretty good feeling I know what is going on with it. I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> so everything is still in here. And here, uh, let me turn this light on. Let me turn this light on and bring you guys a little bit closer. Maybe that's a little bit too close. Focus, focus, focus. All right, there we go. So that's the gearing that's in here. And of course, on the bottom there, right there, you have the gear from the transmission. Now, when I turn the wheel, that, there you go. So what's happening is the pinion gear is not meshing properly there you go. The pinion gear is not meshing properly with the gear in the transmission. It looks like it is. That's probably what fooled me last time. 
but you guys can clearly see that see it's just skipping the mesh isn't right so that's my fault um, that is my fault when I got I thought I calculated this properly and I didn't or I was just a little too enthusiastic of getting this thing out there or in better terms a little excited getting this thing out for a test run but yeah so kind of find out that that gearing that is inside of the transmission is not a 32 pitch gear this gear is a 32 pitch this one that's on the motor it is a 32 pitch gear I started thinking that it was probably a 48 pitch and I thought I had a 48 pitch gear somewhere I could have sworn that I did it probably is somewhere I just don't know where it is but it's not a 48 pitch gear either so I started doing some more calculations and some research I come to find out that the gearing is not again it's not a 32 or a 48 pitch so what I ended up doing did some research online and I came and found a website called radiocontrolinfo.com and it has a, a gear calculator so what I wound up doing was I grabbed the stock gear which this is the gear that came out of the original stock motor that was on this thing and of course I did my own little thing with it uh, thinking that it would work but it didn't so what I did was I drilled a hole there and I put a grub screw in there but what happened was let me yeah right there you guys can see it I chipped the tooth on this side so there's a tooth missing here but if I flip it around the other way all the teeth are there what I would have to do with this thing for it to fit onto this motor would be bore out the center of it so I'd have to drill that out I think to a three millimeters that's what this shaft is I'd have to drill it out to a three millimeters to get this pinion to fit on there I mean I do have another car that I could work with and I could try it again but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bust up that gear like I did with this one so I started looking around and I did measurements and everything on this gear did measurements and everything on this gear and I try to find out what what pitch is this it's not a 32, it's not a 48, so it's gotta be somewhere in between. So again, I found a website called radiocontrolinfo.com and there's a RC gear calculator on there. I went, measured this and everything with my um, caliper, measure it with my caliper in millimeters and here is what I came to find out about this gear. Here is everything the information so the outer diameter of this gear is 11.1 millimeters it's got 14 teeth I calculated and it has a metric module of 0.69 and a diametral pitch of 36.8 when I found that out I started looking around to see where the heck am I going to find a 36 pitch gear I called companies, various companies, to try to find out what it was. Um, I mean, I got 23 miles an hour out of the car. The last time I ran it, I think I got an 18 miles an hour with this gear. So, this time I ran, I got a 23. I, so, we're going up. We're going the right way. <laughs> we're going the right way just gotta find the right gear so of course 
this gear, what I wound up doing was, well, I came back inside and I had this gear. I started doing everything to see, and you guys can clearly see that that gear is not, the mesh, it's not there. It's not there. So it's my fault. It's completely 100% my fault. Luckily, 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 I have another car. So if this gear were to have stripped, if that gear were to have stripped, luckily I have another car where I could swap that out and obviously not try it again because we, I now know that this is, I now know that this is not the right gear, not the right pitch. So if this were to have stripped out, I can always swap out that guy because I have another one here. I have another uh, gear here. So I was doing research trying to figure out, I mean, I called different places trying to figure out what gear, if they had something like this, anything. I called one place that's actually here in Pennsylvania and they said, yeah, you know, you want a gear? Well, we can make you one, custom gear. It's gonna cost you like $3,000. I said, <laughs> $3,000. I said, yeah, no, I, I, I have a nice day. Yeah, three grand for, for a gear for, for a, yeah, no, I'm not doing all that. But I do have good news. I do have good news and I'm happy about this. Hopefully you guys remember my WL Toys 144001 that I had that I transformed into the Cyber Trail Truck. Well, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I was just sitting here on my desk and uh, I happened to look down on the floor and I found this guy. I found this guy. This is the stock original motor that came out of the 14.4001. And on there was a gear, like so. So this gearing was on there. So, I don't know, I just, I don't know. Started looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? Hell, I'm already in a bind. Let me see what, let, let me test this theory tested the theory and I'm going to show you guys this theory. Check this out. So here is the gear. WL Toys 14.4001. Focus. And here's the stock gear. I need this thing to focus. And Here you go. Check this out. The mesh on these gears is exactly the mesh that I need. It's exactly the mesh that I need. So again, uh, like I just showed you, the pitch on this thing is a 36.8 pitch gear. I did not test that on the WL Toys gear. I just went on ahead and I ordered a gear. That's what I did. <laughs> I ordered a gear for this thing and uh, cause I, I was, I sat here for maybe a good 20 to 30 minutes just rolling the stock gear that came out of the Hennessy out of the stock motor that got us, this pinion with the stock motor is what got us to the 4.3 miles an hour. This pinion got us to the 18 miles an hour before that motor seized up in the old brushless system. So I didn't check the, uh, the pitch on this gear, but I sat here for a good like 20 to 30 minutes, again, just running this gear around it and checking it out to see and it meshed perfectly so what I also did before I ordered that gear 
and I'll tell you the reason why I, I ordered that gear. What I also did was I put this gear right in here. I put it right in, and I started playing around with it. I started playing around with it in here, just like so. Put that gear right in here, like that, and I just started moving, and it just, that's me. <laughs> that's, that's not, come on guy, you were working perfectly for me. So, I just rolling it along, and it's going. It, it, it's it's meshing. The gear is meshing perfectly. So since the gear is meshing perfectly, I ordered a new gear. The reason I had to order the new gear was because this gearing, this gear is just way too wide. So when I put it, I already tried it, I put it on the motor here and it's just way too wide to the point that it's not even, it's overlapping. It's overlapping the gear. Basically, the gear sits right there. When I put it on the motor, it overlaps that gear and it's not reaching the gears that I need to. So, ordered a new gear. When that gear comes in, we're gonna throw it onto here, take it back outside, and get over 23 miles an hour. Again, 23 miles an hour wasn't bad. We're going up. I went from 4.8, I think, to 18, to now 23 before that happened. So, that's where I'm at. <laughs> that's where I'm at. And that's where I'm gonna end the video. So, waiting on a gear, and we will be taking this guy back out for another run. So, stay tuned. And you guys know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. You all have a good one.